and Allie. Thanks for joining me for your workout today. This video is a supplement for my Tabata Boot Campers who are actually on break right now. So they're going to be doing some workouts on their own uh, with videos from TabataBootCamp.com. And they want to be able to pick it up a little bit with some of the things that we've done at camp. So I'm reviewing how we've used some of the tools at camp so that when they do their workout on their own, they can make modifications, all right? So you're welcome to review this um, exercise video if you've got figure eight tubing. You can do these on your own. It works with the Tabata Timer Protocol. So you can download Tabata Timer apps all over the place. This one you would need a flexible protocol so that you can program it. The first set of exercises will be 40 seconds of work, and that's at about 70% intensity. The second set of exercises will be 30 seconds at uh, about 80% or higher intensity, and then the third set will only be 20 seconds long, and that's at your 100% intensity level. And then we have a short break in between each um, set of exercises. But again, this is just a video demonstration. Um, you would have to stop the video and do this on your own. All right? So the first one, remember, you guys would do is a chest press, alternating arms, so feet facing forward, belly in, nice little squat down, press out one arm, and then the other. That's with that figure eight tubing. So remember, we're pressing our chest, or I'm sorry, our upper back, into the tube, not letting the tube pull us forward, okay? We're stable, pressing it out. Good. So that's your 40 second exercise. 30 seconds, again, nice little squat. You can add the squat in, press them out, and up, out, and up, elbows in tight, not hugging trees. And then the third, of course, we can cross it over, but we're gonna have a jump. So that's your chest press. Then we have biceps. Slide that figure eight tubing over the front of the opposite foot. I'm sorry, the right foot. Belly's in tight. Come down to a nice little lunge. Arms going to be bent and parallel to the body. So sweeping up the body for the bicep curl. All right, 40 seconds on one side. If you need to come down a little bit lower, of course, you can put that knee on the floor, decreasing the tension. Rest the elbow on the knee and pull it up here. Okay. For a little bit of advanced level, we're going to come right up and bicep curl freely. For the second exercise, coming up straight and tall, open the elbow to the front of the room. Shoulders are parallel to one another, abdominals are tight. Place the left hand at the base of the elbow and then curl up for a full extension. Right. Again, if you need less tension, Give yourself a little bend, no big deal. For the highest level, again, coming up straight and tall, using that left hand to brace the elbow to make sure we don't pull it back. Come up all the way, and we'll be pulsing it down halfway for 20 seconds. Picking up the pace a little bit. Trade sides, do that all over again. The next one is the chest push-up. So, coming on down for a regular push-up. Nice push-up again for our um, for people who are new to doing boot camp, boot camp or new to a fitness exercise routine, you can do these on your knees, all right? No shame in that. We'll start on the knees because that's where our level is. As long as you're showing up, right? You're good to go. I'm off my knees for 40 seconds of traditional wide push-ups. Then, I'm going to come down, push-up, push-up, and then a one leg push up. Sorry, I should try this way. So, we can do these push ups on, on our knees or off, all right? Traditional wide push up. If you're going to do them on your knee, one leg is extended up here. We come down and up, and then switch legs down and up. Or you can do them on, off the knees, down, up, and then switch, all right? And then the last set, the highest intensity, everybody should be working to get straight legs off of the knees. Okay, so just straight leg, one leg, raise, push up. Then we have triceps. Using the band, hold the band in the left hand, elbows just at the waist here. Extend the elbow of the right arm right behind the body. Give me a nice little lunge here. Good. And we just extend that arm back. So you'll note my wrist. Stay straight, the back of my hand is facing right at you, right at the camera. So I'm not pulling it out to the side. I'm not turning my wrist and pushing it back. Okay, I'm right here, steady pushing back. If that's too much tension, I can always bring my left hand back and give myself less tension. 
If it's not enough, I can pull my left hand out and give myself more tension. Good. So that's the first side, 40 seconds. Take the right arm, the arm that you were just using with the tension, hold it up over the head, swing that rope behind your back, and grasp the rope at the middle of the back. So, elbow is close to the ear, extend that right arm up to the ceiling, and then back down again. Bellies are tight. Good. So 30 seconds here. Then for an added challenge, for the last round at 20 seconds, extend both arms, straight. That's our challenge. So, we don't want the elbow out here. That's not doing the job. Elbow and, and bicep are close to the ear, extend it out straight. Then we change that around, do the whole set on the other side. All right, lat raises. Grasp the rope in your left hand. Now we're not holding the handle, we're holding a rope, okay? If the rope is very close, it's tight in the left hand. We hold that rope at our belly. Elbow is at a 90 degree angle, right? We're going to sweep the arm out to the side. So, again, I want you to note here, the elbow is in line with my body, okay? It's not coming out to the front or out to the back because I'm working the lateral muscle. So if I get that sweep in there nice and gentle, really specific, I'll be using the lat, not so much the shoulder. So, nice little squat to keep us stable. Sweep that arm out. If you're looking in the mirror, check to be sure your wrist hides your elbow. That way you know also that your wrist is in line. Pull it up, and that's our 40 second exercise for the lat raise. All right. To make it a little more difficult and up the ante, for the 30 seconds, we put that rope in our pocket, slide it up, same movement. And then finally, for our last 20 seconds, a straight arm. Again, that arm is sliding out to the side, okay? Not here, not here, where I'm tweaking my shoulder, that's gonna hurt me. My belly is tight, sliding out directly to my side for 20 seconds. Switch it up, do it on the other side. Tricep push-ups. So tricep push-ups, let's really think about form. I'm sweating here. Tricep push-ups are all about form. You're not getting the triceps if you're flaring your elbows. So when you do that tricep push-up, hold your hands out in front of you just to make sure you get your form right. Hands are right out in front. Draw the elbows alongside the belly and the hands come close to the bust and the chest. So you're out, squeeze it in. I'll show you from behind. Out. Elbows draw in next to my body. Shoulder blades come together. That's working the tricep, okay? If I'm out to the side, I'm not working the tricep. You may be at the point where you're just doing little baby tricep push-ups, and that's gonna look like this. Okay? Boom, boom, boom. That's okay. If that's as far down as you can get, but you're focusing on that form, that's where you want, we, want, we want you to be, okay? So we're looking at tricep push-ups. So we're here. You can be on the knees, if I can get that in the video. There we go. So we're on the knees, good. Glutes are squeezing tight. Hands are directly beneath the shoulders. And I'm squeezing down. If that's as low as you can go, that's as low as you can go. Otherwise, go all the way down and up, okay? Now, you can also take that up to the next level and come up off of your knees. Squeeze, lifting the shoulders in the back. Come on down and back up for 40 seconds. That's your tricep push-up. Then we'll go from knees to straight legs, okay? So again, here, 40 seconds of the tricep. Everybody's coming. You can either do knees to straight legs. That's kind of our beginner version to get you used to doing them off of the arms, I mean off of the knees. Or you can make it a straight leg tricep push-up move here, and you lift that one leg up, down, and up and then switch sides, down and up, all right? Then, very last one, hold. So, this is a real challenge. We want to come down to the point where we think we're going to fail, where we think we just can't hold ourselves up any higher. And this is for 20 seconds, so it's a real challenge. We hold here, all right, bellies are tight. As you're tucked in, we come to just about where we think we're going to fail, and then we hold it. And that's the exercise. Whew. All right. Final exercise for today is a lat pull down. So, 40 seconds. Arms are out at a 45 degree angle. Squat it down. Pull the right arm down. I'm sorry. We switch arms. 
So we stay here, right arm down, straight, left arm down, straight. That's your 40 seconds, okay? Then, two arms together, pulling it open, right to the chest, keeping tension in the band. And then finally, we're here, and give it a pop. That's our last 20. All right, good luck with your arms workout today.